Hey guys, what is up? T Dub from T Dub Media here, and today I'm going to show you how to frame blend. And frame blending is used in almost every mont every Call of Duty montage. It's not used that much in Halo 3 and all those montages because it really doesn't help that much, and you really can't see it that well. But in Modern Warfare 2, you can easily see the difference. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. So I've imported my clip here. I'm just going to drag it into a new comp. If it will let me... Uh, yeah. This is what happens when I have like five different programs up while recording. Okay. Drag it into a new comp. First, well, I'll just show you the, the uh, clip. It's for the montage I'm making for... Uh, D back 28's editing contest. So yeah, I just uh, rendered this clip out with all the right color correction, and all that. And now you just want to right click, right click the clip, and go to time, time stretch. I'm only gonna do it to a time stretch of 250 percent. And copy this new duration. And okay. Then you want to go to composition, composition settings. Copy in the new duration, but you want to add uh, three seconds, so that'd be six, three minutes and twenty-six seconds. You said okay, okay, and now you want to enable frame blending at the very top here. Hit enable frame blending, and you also want to enable motion blur. You want to enable frame blending for your clip. Just hit it once. It should make a dotted line going left. Hit it again. Make a straight line going right. You want that. Just enable motion blur. Then, right click your clip again. Time. Enable time remapping. Then set a keyframe in the middle. And you can already see here that has some frame blending right after. Let's see if I can get it in. Well, right there. That's some frame blending right there. See there, that little part there. But I'll be rendering this out and putting out putting it in the end of this video, so then you can easily see it. And in the end here, you can see that there is like a red layer coming up. I'm not sure what that is, but that's why I made you make the time a little bit longer. See right there. Right there. Okay, so to fix that, just move this last keyframe to the end and see and go back to the end of your clip and see if it's still red. And if it's not, you fixed it. Move it out a little bit more. There. And you just go back to composition settings and change it back so you can't see it at all. Okay, now I'm going to render this out. We're going to composition, add to render queue. Wait, one sec, let's see, yeah. Make sure that your work at area end is at the end of the clip and not at the end of that keyframe. Add it again. And I'm also going to add the audio to this and rename it and and I'll be back in Sony Vegas so yeah okay now that we're in Sony Vegas you just want to drag your clip out of your media box into the timeline easy enough and this here is probably the easiest part you hold, you hit control, and while you do that, you click and drag. Easy as that. Now this was a short clip to begin with, so it's, I think that's going to be a good, yeah, that should be good right there. So I'm just going to render this out and put it at the end of this video. So, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video, and don't forget to subscribe. So, see ya.